Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Tropico 6. Right, well anyway. A great tool for pleasing factions and receiving gameplay bonuses is the Ministry. It allows you to assign ministers recommended by the various factions to the individual departments to boost the corresponding aspects of the Tropican Nation. We need a Ministry, we need a Minister for any of the departments. Some buildings, like the Ministry, require a blueprint before you can construct them. As usual, blueprints can be purchased on the construction screen. So we need to go to Government and Finance. Ministry right here. Appoint ministers suggested by political factions to improve individual trade aspects of Tropican society. Or to gain illegal earnings from accepting bribes. Do you wish to unlock for 8,000? Yes, I do. And then I wish to build said Ministry for 16,000. So it costs 24,000 for the Ministry. But that Ministry building looks very cool. There is no denying that that Ministry building looks very cool. So we're going to plonk that one down there. And we just got to wait for it to build now. We, we've got a whole load of people here. I don't know where the rest of the... Oh. There's the rest of them. They're coming in all the way around here. It's a long way round here. Like, I think that our island does suffer a penalty from having to go all the way around here. Whereas if we had a dock on this side, they could go straight across. Or if we had a bridge. Either it'd be... It, one or the other is what we need here, I think. Here they come. The workforce. The building's half finished before they all got here. Which kind of, like, defeats the object of doing most of the work, doesn't it? Slow us down to the regular speed. Um, so we go into there. Open the ministry menu. Uh, Department of Education, Department of Defense, Economy, Foreign Affairs, or Interior. Communist or religious candidate. Rebels and criminals have a 10% chance to lose their role every time they visit a chapel, church, or cathedral. Increased job quality of all buildings by two. That would actually be quite good because we know that there are a few people that are not entirely pleased with... Uh, we've got unemployed citizens, homeless citizens. Okay, things aren't looking very good around here. The communists are highest and capitalists are the lowest. So let's try to get something that's going to help the capitalists then, shall we? Open the ministry. Economy. The capitalist increases the efficiency of buildings on maximum budget by 7%. Education increases uh, minus 10% efficiency of education buildings. Graduates shift their political views towards the religious faction. If you have a religious candidate, minus 10% efficiency for education. Increases student slots in high school and colleges by two per teacher. Minus 10% efficiency if the military goes in there. Graduates shift their political views towards military. Capitalists, only well-off and filthy rich tropicans have access to education. Increase, that, that sounds about right, yeah. Uh, increases efficiency of education buildings by 30%, which is good, but it's only the really rich ones that are able to do it. Students that are already enrolled are allowed to finish their education. Overall, the best one seems to be this one. Increases student slots in high schools and colleges by two per teacher. So I think we'll go, you know, if, if we were going to go with that one, let's have a look. What, what else have we got? We've got military, capitalist. You get $75 a broker candidate. I get $75 a month. Department of Economy, broker candidate, I get $85 per month. Increases the efficiency of buildings on maximum. Communist, minus 7% construction of residential buildings. Foreign Affairs, I get $100 a month. Increase efficiency of raid buildings by 5%. Alright, so the, the broker candidates appear to be ones that are bribing me with money. Or I pick one of these lots here. So it, it looks like it wants me to pick one of these candidates here for the Department of Education. Is that what it wanted me to do? No, not that one. Here. Appoint a minister for any of the departments. Ah. Appoint a minister for any department. 
I'm going to go with that one right there. I'm going to increase the number of students in high schools. We're going to end up with a better educated population by doing it like that. There. Fire the minutes of a 2000. I don't want to do that. There are four eras, colonial, world wars, cold war, and modern times. Each symbolized by a small icon in the lower left corner of the, next to the current date. To advance into the next era, you need to complete progression tasks. These activate automatically over time. Following their objectives will bring you into the next era. Now wait for the progression tasks to appear in the task tracker. This might be a good opportunity to increase game speed. Wait for progression tasks to activate. Reach the cold war. Right. Select El Presidente. I shall be remembered forever and more. Ah, we can visit buildings with that, and we can customize El Presidente as well. Progression task. Usually, you have to complete a series of progression tasks in order to reach the next era. For tutorial purposes, we shorten it down to the click of a button. The main takeaway is you can ultimately decide for yourself how long to stay in each era. Eras introduce new gameplay mechanics, additional internal and external parties that will try to manipulate you through their own agenda, and they unlock new buildings and governmental tools to help you develop and rule Tropico. Okay, progress to Cold War. Starting with the World Wars, Tropico has the constitution. Every time you progress to the next era, you decide on new mandatory constitution topics. Additional constitution topics are optional and can be unlocked later via research. Constitution can be only renewed several years after signing it, after elections, on public demand, or when progressing to a new era. Decide on mandatory topics and sign the new constitution. All citizens vote. So there we go. Confirm changes. Effective until September of 1924. Governing Tropico is not only about ruling the country and your people, but also about finding your place amongst the leaders. I don't know why I just spent so... I, I did spend quite a long time reading through those and picking them out. This is just a tutorial. It doesn't matter. Um, anyway. Uh, but also about finding your place amongst the leaders of the world and standing your ground. Every year introduces its own set of global superpowers that will make demands in exchange for improving your relations. Very similar to dealing with internal factions. In contrast to the factions, superpowers do not affect the opinions of your people, but will support or oppose you in the fields of diplomacy, trade, and even war. Have an embassy, invite Eastern Bloc to embassy, ask the Eastern Bloc for financial aid. Right, construction... Embassy, buy for 1,250. Embassy, build for how much? Five grand. Right. I'm going to put the embassy right in there and tuck it in next to the presidential palace. Pop that one into there like that. And I have got a whole load of workers on their way already. There we go. Build up the embassy. Looking pretty snazzy. There it is. Our first embassy. Plus we've got this great big building over here. Think things are looking pretty shiny. Eastern block right there. Um What did I need what was I can't even see what the first one is. Ask for Governance aid. is your vocation, Presidente. Your calling. The people cannot govern themselves. They are too small. They need you. It is a sacred covenant. You sacrificing everything to lead them, except for riches, power, and anything else you want. And in return, they do as you say. And together, all benefit, except the people. But without you, they are nothing. I'm starting to dislike myself. Continue with the next part. Right, what are we going to learn now? Cars, boats, teleferic gondolas. Your mighty arm reaches everywhere, but the people, they must be transported. Of course, this is fraught with danger. Poorly built roads create unplanned happenings. Well, bridges are deliberately built over troubling waters. Elevators, they are obviously traps. President, hey, without you, the people would never get anywhere. At some point, you might want to expand across the sea. For instance, to build an oil well over the oil de deposit on the volcano island. The best way to expand to other islands is to construct a landing area. It will allow your construction workers to travel to the new island and erect additional buildings. Build landing. Construct a landing on the volcano island to build an oil well on the volcano island. Right, so if we zoom out a bit, 
we now have nothing over on this island and nothing on here, but the port is over on this side, which is going to make life a lot easier for us. So we will come over here. That volcano island doesn't look quite so healthy, really, does it? Uh, landing. I'm going to go out a limb here and say that we should put it in that blue box right there. So how does that get built? Under construction. Where are my dudes? I'm so stressed. I tell you what, he seems to be taking his sweet time to get there. I've got a lot of police cars around here. Let's speed things up a little bit. BL Perez. He's taken a couple of months already to walk the distance. Um... I'm thinking that he could do with... He's, he's still going to... He's, he's 18 at the moment. He's going to be 25 years old before he even gets there. Seriously, we've got some shanty towns here. See? Look at that. Shanty towns are being built. He's coming over this way. And finally, he's on his way over to the construction site. There we go. It took him oh, about six months to get here. At least he's now doing some work. Now what's he going to do? Now he's, he's, he's heading back again now. Uh, what do I do next? Food and resources. Oil well. Where is... Uh, there's the oil. Ooh. I've got a couple of them. Right. Let's plonk down an oil well. I'm going to build another one. Just because I can. That's why. Just because I can. Right. I've got an oil well over there. I've got an oil well over there. I'm going to go with that oil well there, and that one, I'm going to put the road facing that. I'm going to put one down there as well, like that. So where is your worker? Susana Martinez, Pablo Martinez, Carmen Perez, Biel. You look kind of familiar. You look kind of familiar. That's the same dude that was here last time. Right, while they're doing that bit, I'm going to go to the construction over here. I'm going to go to some road, and I'm going to take that bad boy, and it's going to go out there. And it's going to go... Actually, that can just go like this, and then I can do a straight line over there, like that, can't I? There. And they're all connected in now. That's right next to the road. That's all it needs to be. That's all it needs to happen. It just needs to connect onto that bit there. So I've got the road between it. This one is being built. We've got the workers. I can see them turning up over there. Building my oil well. The operating range of Teamsters is limited to the road network they are connected to. In order to ship goods from one island to the other, you need the Teamsters port. Have a team support, connect it oil, uh, construct a team support on the volcano island. Right. Well, they're busy doing stuff, so I need a Teamsters port over here. That one will need to go here, like that. And is that connected up to that road already? Task road. I don't know if it is or not. I'll put that one over there, like that. I suppose I could just loop it down. It doesn't like that. Road curves too sharply. It doesn't like it. So if I go into here, I'll just give them a choice like that. They, they can just they can just do it like that. I've got this one here that is busy building really quickly, and then I've got all my builders over here already. Um, they're heading back over this way, getting ready to start their building work. See, they're rushing through with it. So there's the Teamsters build on Volcano Island. Tropicans commute a lot between their homes, their jobs, and all the buildings they visit to satisfy their happiness aspect. Improving the time it takes them not only makes them happier, but also improves your economy. Travel time is idle time. Starting in the World Wars era, you can build bridges to connect close islands with each other more efficiently, but also at higher cost. Connect the center island roads to volcano island roads by building a bridge. Right, now we're talking. We need a bridge. So where's the best place to build a bridge? We want to go straight across here, really, don't we? Okay, construction, road. So I want to go out that way. I 
How do I delete road? Construction. World wonders. Road. Cancel road construction. I mean, I'm going to bring it over to there like that. And then... Well, a dead straight line would be here. Can't start bridge. I mean, you can't start bridge. Oh, I see. Right, we got we got to start the bridge. The, the bridge has got to be sort of done over a, a, a long distance. So we can have the bridge there. How do I request different types of bridge? I don't really know. Road would cost 1950 There. And I'll build a bit of road there. That's... Right, yeah, fine, it, it can stay like that. In Tropico, we do not just build parking streets. Every driving tour needs to start and end in a building. That's why you need to provide some parking decks here and there to enable citizens to use cars. Construct a parking deck on the center island and on Volcano connected to the same road network. Right, construction, parking deck. I will put one of these. Spot is already taken. Oh, I see. It's got to be close to the road. It's, it's, it can't be too close to the road. Right. Well, I'll put a parking deck over there. I've got to put in another one. Road here. So I can take... I can't put the road... I can put a road there that will come out round. Or we can have this road in here. The oil is... Yeah, see, I, I kind of want the road. I'll put a road out there. Yeah, that's, that's better. I like that. It's not ideal. I've got... I don't know what's going on with that. I've made a complete and total mess of everything. Um, so that road there... I'll bring that one out here and just connect it in like that. And that's all it needs to do. So I've got a road running between them. Which is absolutely fantastic. And I need a parking deck. Where's that one going to go? They want me to put that... I'm not going to put that there. Have we got parking decks in here already? I don't think we do. So I'm going to put a parking deck there. Which is away from absolutely every aspect of the entire area. Cancel construction a minute. Parking deck. Where would be the best place to put this then? Over here? Actually, the best place to put it would be right there next to all of these buildings. That was just a shanty town that I built over. They don't really count. They're, they're unimportant. They do not matter in the slightest. So we don't need to worry about that one. And then I've got the other parking deck over here. Depending on the current era and even individual economic wealth, not everyone can afford using a car. To provide faster travel for less prosperous citizens. There are some public transportation options like buses... Telephoric. What is telephoric? Telephoric. Te te telephoric. Telephoric. And the metro. Let's establish a bus line allowing the people living near the oil well to visit the uh, buildings on the center island. Have a bus garage. Establish a bus line. Right. Construction. Bus garage. The bus garage can go over here. Um, establish a bus line. Just have a bus garage and then have a bus line with one stop at center and other on Volcano Island. So I want a bus stop here. So how do you make bus stops? It's going to be our next question. It's the next big thing. Construction is underway right here. So I, I just got to wait for them to hurry up and do... I could do the quick build. There. Right, we're done. Uh, place starting bus stop. Well, that's going to go... I'm, I'm going to put that one sort of over here where we've got markets and stuff like that. There's one. Place ending bus stop. And that one is going to go over here near the... 
I see, right, we can go either side of the road if we want to. I can not put it there, blocked by driveway, but I can put it here. Or I can have it all the way over next to it. We'll put it all the way over next to that one. It's going to be on that side. There. So there's the end of it. Now, do they only go to the end, or can you have, like, a, a middle bus stop? Can we, can we have a, a middle section here somewhere? Buildings from later areas are increasingly depending on electric power and will not work properly until enough power is provided. You're going to need to uh, build a power plant that requires coal. You first need to build a coal mine and place a power plant close to it and add another team to office to handle the transport. Have a mine coal, uh, build a coal mine on the waterfall island, have a teamster's office and a power plant. Except, right, we need a coal mine. Food and resources, mine. So I need to put this one over on waterfall island all the way over here on this wonderful place over here. So what's that? What is that? Logging, fisherman, plantation, ranch, mine. Coal, iron, gold, nickel, aluminium, or uranium. Oh, it's, it's uranium. Oil well. Fish farm, oil rig. Right, well, we want to mine. And I want the road to head out that way. So I'm going to put the mine down over there. I got no way for the people to get anything over here at the moment. Like that one there is saying that the people can't. Construction workers cannot reach. Connect islands with landings or bridges first. So I've either got to build a bridge across to this island or I've got to do it another way. I'm going to build a bridge for now. So we're going to... I'm going to go back over to here and I'm going to have a road that is going to come out that way. It's going to go... You can have the road going anywhere. I don't have to have it going in like all dead straight lines everywhere. So I can build a road across here. Take it that way. That road is going to go there, and then it's going to come on round here, and then join in there like that. So now I've got a road. I've got people able to travel over there. Have a Teamsters office on Waterfall Island. So I need a Teamsters office. Construction Teamsters office. I gotta have one of these over on this island. Uh, that one can go there like that. There is my Teamsters office, and the other one that was have the power plant over here as well. So construction, parking, power plant right there. Now I've I've got the Teamsters office here. I I kind of want that like the power plant has got to be fairly close to the coal mine. So we'll put that one. There, like that. So it's close by and able to do things. We've got ancient civilizations up here. Look at this. We have ancient civilizations. This is very cool. I, I, I like this up here. We should have a presidential retreat up here so that we can go on holiday away from the screaming masses and the, the, away from the unwashed masses. That's what we want. That's going to be our private retreat so we can escape the unwashed masses whenever we need to. You in here, we are building... We've got 160 grand. Let's hurry up and finish that. Power producing buildings feed the electricity into the power grid around them. Only buildings inside this grid will be supplied with electricity. Overlapping power grids will merge into one, accumulating produced power as well as the consumption. Make sure to not have more power consumed than producing. Buildings with insufficient power supply are inoperable. Construct an arcade on Waterfall Island. Construct an arcade on Volcano Island. Construct electrical substations to connect the Volcano Island to the power grid. Supply all arcades with power. Right, I need two arcades to start off with. Entertainment arcade over here. Visitors must be well off or better. So I'm going to put one of these. Which way round are we going to put you? I'm going to put that one there. That one's going to go there like that. Then I'm going to head over this way and I need one over on this island. That one is going to go... Just going to be plonked down here somewhere. I've got these oil wells busy building. 
Um, arcade, I need another one of these. So that one's going to go down here like this. Why are you not within designated area? Oh, it's because it's not finished being built yet. I've got to do it in order. Right, well, that's that's not any good to me. So you're building there. Um, power supply. Now construction arcade. Oh, yeah, na now you let me do it. Yeah, now I can go and build this one down here. Fine. I'll build this one down here. So that one, I want to turn around. I want it to face that way so it says arcade at the front. And we'll plonk that one into there. And I'm going to quick build that one very quickly like that. And then we go to construction. Tavern and infrastructure. Electric substation. So that bad boy there is going to go... Doesn't need to... Where does it need to go? I'm going to put that one there. Like that. Quick build it. Right, network, electricity, network balance. So now what? Construction. I got an electric substation there. Telephoric. Oh, it's like a cable type thing. Uh, food and resources, industry, residential, media, public services. Power plant, electric substation. Expands the electric power grid coverage, emits pollution. So I need another one of these. Don't I? Oh, I see. Right. That sort of goes like that. And then I've got the power station there. So I need to just put one more of these to connect all of it. One substation here will automatically connect all of the surrounding area. It doesn't even need to be near a road. So I could put that one near the beach. I could put it way over here like this. Yeah, that can be hidden off in the undergrowth a little bit. I can put that one down over there. Quick build it. Right. Power the arcades. So why don't you have any power? Transportation is what cities of the future need. Oh, it's done. Actually, it is what cities of the present need. Who knows about the future? Just remember, parking decks with cars, public transportation for everyone, and make sure there's enough power to keep everything moving. It is troublesome, but until we find a way to keep everyone at home in front of a screen, it is sadly essential. Tourists, Very Presidente. Good. Unlike our citizens, they pay you money for everything and disappear without any reasonable and proportionate secret police intervention. Alas, Tropico does not yet have everything it needs to pull in those overseas punters. Let us make places to stay, things to visit, and more importantly, ways for tourists to arrive without seeing the generous poverty of our own citizens. No one wants to start their vacation on a bummer. Right, complete all tutorial tasks. Build a cabana village. Uh, starting with the Cold War, you can lure visitors from other countries to Tropico, making tourism a legitimate alternative way of making money. Tourists will spend their whole vacation visiting entertainment buildings and resting at their accommodation. Build a cabana village on Waterfall Island. Build a scenic outlook on Waterfall Island. Increase the beauty of the cabana village by placing decorative objects and the scenic outlook as well. Right, so we need to build a cabana village. Tourism. Cabana village. Well, that looks a bit contrived, doesn't it? And we've run out of time for today's episode. Even tyrannical despots need to take a little bit of time off work occasionally. Uh, there's a few names appearing on the screen for you from the Great Book of Names. Just my little thank you to everybody that supports the channel. The names will change after every episode as I cycle through the lists. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.